In this video, we're going to look at similar shapes and we're going to look at what happens with their areas. So from previous videos, you should have seen what a similar shape is or what similar shapes are, uh, where one is an enlargement of the other. So as you can see, the rectangle on the right is an enlargement of the rectangle on the left. And the scale factor for enlargement would be 2. To get from 5 to 10, you would multiply by 2. And to get from 2 to 4, you would multiply by 2. So the scale factor of enlargement is scale factor 2. But let's have a look at what happens with the areas. So 2 times 5, the area for this rectangle would be 10 centimetres squared. And there for this one is 4 times 10, which is 40 centimetres squared. So as you can see, the areas are 4 times bigger. So whenever we multiply the sides by 2, the areas become 4 times bigger. Let's have a look at another one. This time we've got 2 and 5 centimetres for this rectangle on the left, but the one on the right is 6 and 15. So it's an enlargement for by a scale factor of 3. We have multiplied by the sides by uh, 3 to get the larger rectangle. So when you multiply by the sides by 3, let's have a look and see what happens with the areas. 2 times 5, again, is 10 centimetres squared. And 6 times 15 is 90 centimetres squared. So the areas for this one are 3 times bigger, or 9 times bigger. So when we multiply the sides by 3, the areas become 9 times bigger. So whenever it was 2, we multiply the areas by 4. Whenever the sides were multiplied by 3, we multiply the areas by 9. Let's have a look at what happens whenever we multiply the sides by 4 this time. So to get from 5 to uh, 20, you'd multiply by 4. So the scale factor of enlargement for the sides is 4. Let's look at what happens with the areas. 2 times 5 is again is 10 centimetres squared. And 8 times 20 is 160 centimeters squared so the areas are 16 times bigger there for this one is 16 times bigger so whenever it's 4 16 notice the pattern here 2 4 2 squared is 4 3 9 3 squared is 9 4 16 4 squared is 16 so when you multiply the sides by a number the area is you would multiply it by that number squared so let's have a look so if we times by 2 the sides the areas were four times bigger. When you times the sides by three, the areas were nine times bigger. When you multiplied it by four, the areas were 16 times bigger. If we were to multiply the sides by five, a scale factor from five for the enlargement, the areas would be 25 times bigger. If we times by a number n, we would multiply it by that number n squared. So that means that if an object is enlarged by a scale factor n, then the areas are enlarged by a scale factor n squared. Okay, let's have a look at some questions. So here we've got two triangles, two right angle triangles, and we've been told the area of this one on the left is 20 centimetres squared, and the base is seven centimetres. They've told us the base of this one, 21 centimetres, and we want to find the area. So to get from seven to 21, you would multiply by three. So the scale factor of enlargement is three. That means the areas, well, three squared, three squared is equal to nine. That means the areas would be nine times bigger. So when you do 9 times 20, we get 180 centimetres squared. Okay, so there, this one is 180. Let's have a look at another one. This time, we've got two rectangles, and we have got 3 and 15. So the sides are 5 times bigger. So the scale factor of enlargement for the sides is 5. That means for the areas, it would be 25 times bigger, 5 squared. That means to get from this one to, to uh, 400, you'd multiply by 25. So to go back, would you divide by 25? So 400 divided by 25 would be equal to um, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 100. So it's going to be 16. So the area for this one will be 16 centimeters squared. And let's just check. 16 times 25 is equal to 400. Okay. So just a reminder, whenever you multiply the sides by 5, the areas would be 25 times bigger, 5 squared. Okay, next. This time, they've told us the areas of the two shapes, and they've told you the base of this one is three, and they want you to find the base of this one. So to get from 10 to 490, you would multiply by 49. That means the areas are 49 times bigger. Well, if the areas are 49 times bigger, we're gonna to have to square root the 49 to see how many times bigger the sides would be. So the square root of 49 is equal to seven. That means the sides are enlarged by a scale factor of seven. Okay, so it means that the shape is enlargement of scale factor of 7 of this one. So it means that the area is 49 times bigger. So we were times 3 by 7 to get the base of this one. So this one's going to be 21 centimeters. Okay, let's have a look at 
one more example. This also works for surface area because it's just an area, okay? So if you enlarge the sides, like in this one, if we enlarge the sides by scale factor two, that means we're enlarging all the sides by scale factor two. And remember two squared would be equal to four. So that means that the surface area will get bigger by scale factor four because all the areas of all the rectangles will be four times bigger. And all together, the whole lot will be four times bigger. So the surface area, you'd multiply by four because two, the sides were two times bigger. You square that four, so the surface area would be four times bigger. 30 times four is 120 centimeters squared. So it also works for surface area. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of exam questions. So, um, here we have got two parallelograms. The diagram shows two similar, similar means one's an enlargement of the other, P and Q. Let's just see what the scale factor of enlargement is. To get from 2.5 to 7.5, Remember, we just divide 7.5 by 2.5, and then that would be three. So we've enlarged by a scale factor of three. It says the lengths of the shorter sides are 2.5 and 7.5 as shown. The area of the Q, the bigger one, the area of the bigger one, Q, area, is equal to 54 centimeters squared. It says work out the area of this parallelogram. So the sides are three times bigger. So the sides are three times bigger. That means the areas would be three squared is equal to nine times bigger. So the area of this times nine would give you the area of this one, okay? So we know the area of this one's equal to 54. So as we wanna go backwards, so we're gonna divide 54 by nine. So 54 divided by nine is equal to six centimeters squared. So the area of this uh, parallelogram P is six centimeters squared. Okay, and finally, the diagram shows two mathematically similar containers, aka cups, okay? So we've got two cups. And it says that um, the height of this one, just remember the question, the height of this one is equal to 24 centimeters. And it says that the height of this one is equal to 36 centimeters. Then it says the area of the circle at the top of this one, the area of the circle, is equal to 500 centimeters squared. What is the area of this circle at the top of this one, okay? So, let's first of all work out the scale factor of enlargement. We've got 24 and 36. I can see straight away the scale factor of enlargement is gonna be 1.5 because half of 24 is 12 and when you add it on, it would give you 36. But let's just check. So remember you divide the bigger one by the shorter one to see the scale factor of enlargement. So 36 divided by 24, and this is a calculator question. Whenever you do that, you get 1.5. So that means the sides are 1.5 times bigger, okay? So we multiply the sides by 1.5 to get the larger one. If the sides are 1.5 times bigger, you've got to square that to see how many times bigger the areas would be, okay? And the area of this circle is 500. We want to find the area of this one. So the areas would be 1.5 squared would be equal to 2.25 times bigger. So we would multiply this one by 2.25 to get the area of the larger one. So what we're going to do is we're going to then do 500, the larger one, times by 2.25. Then that would give us the area of the circle at the top of this one. And when we do that 500 times by 2.25, we get 1,125 centimeters squared.